fully capturing a client's net worth is essential to forecasting an accurate financial plan. In Right Capital, this is done in the net worth step of the initial data entry process, which is where you'll enter all of a client's existing assets and liabilities. This includes things like bank and investment accounts, properties, and insurance policies. The net worth section is a crucial piece of the data entry process, as this is also where you'll enter the current balances of these assets as they stand today. There are three ways to enter accounts in the net worth tab. The first two methods involve linking accounts via account aggregation or an advisor level integration, and the third method is to add accounts manually. Let's review each method. If you are a premium or platinum Right Capital subscriber, your clients can securely link their bank accounts, credit cards, investments, and loans directly to Right Capital via account aggregation. This can be done by clicking the Link Account button at the top of the page. Within the pop up window that appears, clients can use the search bar to find a given financial institution or click one of the available quick links. They will then be guided through the steps to link their accounts at that institution. This typically involves entering their username and password and completing some form of multi factor authentication. After accounts have been linked, they will populate in the appropriate account category on the left side of the page. Current balances and position level account data will be pulled in automatically and will continue to refresh on a regular basis. Linking bank accounts and credit cards via aggregation will also pull in transaction information, allowing your clients to utilize the budget module in the dashboard section. You and your clients can utilize the connections menu here to view and manage all active aggregated connections. The second data entry method is to link accounts using an advisor level integration. Right Capital offers the capability to set up integrations with asset custodians, account aggregators, and other platforms that you may already utilize as a part of your tech stack. A full list of our integration partners can be found within the More Menu Integrations tab of the Advisor Portal. Many of these integrations can be used to link a client's accounts directly to their Right Capital financial plan. Just like aggregation, this will pull in current balances and position level account data. This information will automatically refresh each day to reflect the previous day's closing values. Any active integrations will appear as options within the Link Account button after being set up for your Right Capital account. Integrations can be a quick and reliable way to link accounts that requires less attention and upkeep from your clients than account aggregation. If you ever need any assistance setting up or using a particular integration, remember that you can always reach out to our support team for assistance. This brings us to our last data entry method. Any type of asset or liability can also be added manually to the net worth section by clicking the Add Account button in the upper right. Please note that only bank accounts, credit cards, investments, and loans are able to be linked. Stock plans, properties, insurance policies, and other assets must be added manually via this last method. Let's walk through the available options together, starting with bank accounts. Bank account entries are quick and straightforward. Enter the account's name, choose the account's type and owner, and then enter the current balance. Adding credit cards is similarly straightforward. Here you'll find some additional areas to enter the monthly and minimum payment amounts, along with the APR percentage. As we can see from these two entries, assets will positively contribute to a client's total net worth in the upper left, whereas liabilities will subtract from the total net worth. Adding investments encompasses a wide swath of different account types, such as taxable brokerage accounts, 401ks, IRAs, and much more. A full list of available options can be found within the Account Type drop-down menu. Different account types will require different information, but you'll always be asked for the account name and the owner. There are two different entry method options for manually added investment accounts. Enter total balance and enter holdings slash asset class. 
The data entry process will vary depending on the option that you select here. The Enter Total Balance option is quick and easy, allowing you to simply enter the total balance of the account. You may also be asked for a cost basis, depending on the account type. Be sure to enter this value when necessary so that Right Capital can accurately calculate and apply capital gains taxes within the projections. The Enter Holdings slash Asset Class option offers more granularity, allowing you to add specific holdings and asset classes to an account. To add a holding, click the Add Holding button in the lower right. Once the holding has been added, specify the ticker symbol and quantity. Click Save to finish adding the holding. Right Capital partners with Morningstar for accurate, up-to-date holding data. After entering the ticker symbol, the price and allocation for that holding will automatically feed into Right Capital from Morningstar. The value of the holding will be calculated and will contribute to the total balance of the account. In addition to specific holdings, you can also add general asset classes to the account by clicking the Add Asset Class button. Choose an asset class from the drop down menu here and then specify the value. This option is helpful in cases where you may not have the full account details or if certain holdings in an account are not in Morningstar's database. The last step when adding investments is to determine the allocation of the account. Regardless of whether investments have been linked or added manually, you are always in full control of the asset allocation. The allocation for each account will have a direct impact on the rate of return and standard deviation of the client's overall current allocation, making this a crucial step of the data entry process. Click the button under Asset Allocation to open a new drawer on the right of your screen. Here, there are three ways to allocate investments in Right Capital. The default option for linked accounts, as well as manual accounts built out with specific holdings, is based on holdings slash asset class. When using this option, the asset allocation will be determined automatically based on the specific holdings and asset classes in the account. Do note that this option is reliant on holdings information and is not available when using enter total balance as your entry method. The second option is based on model portfolio a quick and easy option that allows you to choose from a list of available model portfolios. The asset allocation for the account will be set to the asset allocation of the selected portfolio. Right Capital includes seven default model portfolios, but you can build out your own custom models as well within the Models Portfolios tab of the Advisor Portal. The last option is Customized which allows you to specify the asset allocation by entering custom percentages for each asset class. When using this option, the total must equal 100% in order to save the allocation. For clients who receive equity compensation in the form of something like incentive stock options or restricted stock units, stock plans can also be added here within the net worth section. These entries allow you to set the vesting, exercise, and liquidation schedules for both past and future grants. A full list of data entry inputs and descriptions for stock plan entries can be found by searching stock plans within the Right Capital Help Center. Adding loans can be used to enter things like mortgages, car loans, student loans, and more. Use the Loan Type drop-down menu to view the full list of available options. Different loan types will require different information, but you'll always be asked for the loan name, owner, balance, and interest rate. When entering a mortgage, you'll also be asked for details such as the original amount and the loan term. A minimum payment will be calculated automatically based on these inputs, but if your clients are making more than the minimum payment each month, you can enter that amount in the monthly payment field. You can then link the mortgage to the correct property within the plan. This brings us to our next asset type, property. Within the property area, you'll find a pre-populated entry for the primary home. Click property on the left side of the page, and then click the primary home tile to update the information. 
First, indicate whether the primary home is rented or owned using the Rent slash Own drop-down menu. For clients who are renting, you'll only need to enter the monthly rent and annual insurance. For clients who own their primary home, you'll be asked to enter the purchase price and current value of the home, as well as the property tax, insurance, and maintenance fees. Any other properties that the client owns, such as vacation and investment properties, can be added by clicking Add Account and then selecting the correct property type. If you're adding multiple properties here, along with multiple mortgages, remember to link each mortgage to the correct property. You'll want to enter insurance policies as well within the Net Worth section. You can find a list of policy types by clicking Add Account and hovering over Insurance. For example, if your client has a group life policy through their employer, you can select the group life option here, which will allow you to enter the dollar amount for the annual premium, as well as the death benefit. Just like loans and investments, different insurance policy types will require you to enter different information. A full breakdown of each policy type can be found by searching insurance policies in our help center. Lastly, other assets can be added to a client's net worth section by clicking Add Account, Other. There are several options available here within the Asset Type menu. Lifestyle is a great option for tangible assets like boats, cars, and jewelry. Note Receivable can be utilized if clients have loaned money and are currently receiving payments. Business assets like LLCs, partnerships, S-Corps, and C-Corps can be listed with income, distributions, growth, and sale options. Once again, a full breakdown can be found by searching business assets within the Help Center. One last thing to note, any liabilities that are entered here in the net worth will automatically be factored into the client's future cash flow projections as expenses. This includes mortgage and other debt payments, insurance premiums, and property-related expenses like taxes and maintenance fees. When entering a client's living expenses, do be mindful not to double count any of the expenses that have already been accounted for here within the net worth. After entering all of a client's assets and liabilities, you can click Next to move on to the next step of the initial data entry process. After you've completed the onboarding template for a client and unlocked the rest of their financial plan, the Net Worth section can be accessed going forward within the Profile Net Worth tab. You can add new accounts and make changes to the existing entries here at any point in the future. As always, if you have any questions while filling out the Net Worth, the Right Capital support team is available to help. You can use the live chat feature in the lower right corner of your screen, or you can give our team a call at 888-982-9596, option two. For tutorials like this one focused on other steps of the data entry process, you can visit the training video section of the Right Capital Help Center.